Chris. Yeah. yeah. Speaking about films, what did you think about Ola Torre three? Um, yeah. the, um, the Ebony Life one, right? Yeah, um, the one that's um on Netflix. So I watched it. I was looking forward to it because I, you know, I was seeing it everywhere. The support was crazy, and um, there were just a couple of things that rubbed me off. Um, so first and foremost, obviously, like we all know, like the Nigerian film industry has improved like so much. Do you know what I mean? So so much. So shout out to them for that. And of course, it's not easy making a movie, but I just feel like there's certain things now that. Um, guys are just letting happen that shouldn't be happening so obviously i know ebony live is it ebony live or ebony life ebony life isn't it ebony life. i know that they're putting in a lot of money into their things but when i looked at the movie to me it just kind of start it's starting to feel like you know and obviously this is just you know hyper, you know just a guess but it's just starting to feel like they're putting money behind films so that they can do a part two mm. you know I wasn't drawn to the character. You know, this is a girl who's on the cover, who um, who's going on the cover to go and see how these um, these um, traffickers move girls around, the women around from Nige to Italy or whatever. You know, somewhere along the line, you know, she gets um, assaulted. Yada yada yada. Do you know what I mean? But I just didn't connect to her character that deeply for such a deep story. Like you know, um, Uke Chico was in the movie. He played the gangster. He was really good. Um, like it was, it was a decent film, you know. But then, even like technical errors, like um, there was a time when the guy was about to go and make love to the girl the first time. This is the detective girl that's going to be playing as the prostitute. And going up the stairs, the camera was shaking. Mm. Oh, okay. You guys have big budget, like you, you know, you're using a steady cam. Like you know, when you see those movies and you're going up the staircase. And yeah. camera just following you in a smooth way. You got your steady cam, you got your rig. Everything should just be, bro. The camera was shaking, shaking, or and it's like, you shouldn't be making. Jamie, you know I mean? like your ebony life, like you shouldn't be making these kind of mistakes. So, um, not to even compare it to American movies, South African movies down the road are flames. Like there's a film that everyone should go and check out. It's on Netflix. It's called Gangsters Paradise Jerusalem. It's South African. From the storyline to the character um, analysis to how you break down the characters to even how it's shot, you think it was a Yankee movie. So yeah, yeah. that's my take on the lottery. Like it was a cool movie, and then the end, you know, imagine like girls are trying to escape or whatever. So the end of the film, fresh. Can you just guess what happens? Um, it was all a dream. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been amazing. <laughs> now basically, what happens is, Find it. what happens is. Because they're going from Nigeria to is it Cotonou or Benin or whatever? Benin, yeah. They just they cross over. That's all. Mm. So there's a part two. It's so it kind of like the wedding party. So you mean that you took us through this whole journey? Yeah. You drop me there in a cliffhanger. Oh my god. It's like a money making scheme at this point. Like, like you're taking a make. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like they literally cross over. Yeah. That's the end. Mm. Wow. There were a lot of technical problems, like the shaking. Like it was more than once, you know. And you know, there were certain shots that would have been on a dolly, you know, it's tracking back and it's smooth. But then suddenly there would be like a camera jerk, and then it would cut. So it would yeah. be like, why would you leave that in? You could easily cut before it jerked. So not they, only is it a technical issue, but there's also editing things like or, that. Or shoot again. Like this is, and that's the mm. you know our another big take. Um, you know or should we shoot this scene again this is our big production house but a film that came out last was it 2018 Nigerian film on Netflix I think it was the first one on Netflix which was pretty pretty good pretty um, pretty good they ticked all the boxes right it was a decent film with a decent script one of those good watches yeah. uh, Lionheart by Genevieve Genevieve Naji. You know, had all your legendary actors there, Pete, Edoche, all those guys, and it was a very, very good watch. Do you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. sh shout yeah. out to Live Film Show, but yeah, with Ebony Lab, I just feel like we well, expected more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, did Fowl sign like an exclusivity deal with them to only have his music in the film? <laughs> I swear, the only music that you hear throughout the whole thing is Fowl's. 
Oh. Really, I'm pretty sure they played other guys, but I, I actually can't remember. I heard at least like three tracks throughout it where it was fouls. Like, maybe you should try and hook fresh up with them now. We need to get fresh joints in there, man. Yeah. 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 Music. Fresh, I saw your song has been in the film. Yeah. Shout out to. Uh, yeah, actually. Um, Fallout didn't see produce a movie. I can't remember what it was called, funny enough. But. <laughs> <laughs> like the Islanders or like the Lagos Island or something. It was a show. It wasn't even a film. It was a show actually. Mm. Did you make? Did you make some dough? Nah, man. They held all my uh, royalty. <laughs> Nigga, all your masters. Imagine his masters. <laughs> wow. Fair. Okay. okay. The Alternative Network.